Good morning, members of the Edison Rotary Club, teachers, parents, and fellow students. I'd like to thank the Rotary Club for this wonderful recognition. Over the years, I've learned a great deal while helping kids, whether it be by performing a show, helping a group of third grade girls learn something new, or by donating my hair, I have found that I enjoy helping children and I wish to pursue this. Each year around Halloween, the G.P. Stevens Theater Company has created a haunted house from all of, for, for kids all around the area. This year, besides being an actor in the haunted house, I had the privilege of organizing the event. Organizing the haunted house involved a great deal of creativity and patience because we were given a completely empty classroom and we had to transform it into a scary town with a cemetery, a haunted toy room, and a haunted classroom. Seeing all of the children go through the haunted house and listening to them express how great it was provided me with such a feeling of excitement and joy. I love seeing a child walk, through, walk out of the room completely terrified, then seeing that very same kid walk through the haunted house a few more times each time, enjoying the thrill of being scared more and more. I've also enjoyed helping children by organizing a trip to, the, to different elementary schools for the company to perform a variety of skits, having the executive board participate in the sidewalk art for charity, and planning a visit to the Children's Specialized Hospital. Along with providing the children entertainment, I facilitated a group of 18 girls as they grew over the course of the summer. When camp first started, each girl was shy and was afraid to try new things. However, by the end of the summer, each girl had made tons of friends and overcame many fears. As a counselor, I, t I was able to teach individuals how to ride a bicycle, do a flip inside the pool, and conquer fear of heights. Never did I imagine that working at a day camp could provide no, sorry. Never did I imagine I, I, that working at a day camp could affect my life as much as it did. Each day I would go home exhausted, but knowing that I made a difference and helped the children grow. I enjoyed it so much that I can't wait until I go back next summer and start over with a group of new girls. Outside of school, I'm an active donor to the Locks of Love organization. Locks of Love is a nonprofit organization that provides hair pieces to financially disadvantaged children under the age of 21 who suffer from long-term medical hair loss from any diagnosis, such as cancer or alopecia. Inspired by my grandmother and cousin, who both have been diagnosed with cancer, I began donating my hair when I was in fifth grade. Since then, I have donated over 36 inches of hair. In October of 2008, I organized an event, an event on behalf of the organization, which collected various hair accessories, over $300, and enough ponytails to make at least one wig. I was ecstatic that I collected enough hair donations that could create a wig for an underprivileged children. These community service projects have taught me that there is no greater joy than to give back and help a child. From these experiences, I have finally learned what I want to do in my future. By becoming a pediatrician, I hope to help a child and change their life for the better. Thank you.